guys welcome back to the channel as you can see behind me i got a d17 diesel um i bought this tractor over in ohio in ohio it was my second load i went to go get got it and a uh d14 which is right there and uh i was gonna sell it complete the way it's set um but then it started to Oh, I had some issues. Um, I was getting fixed. Didn't get around to it. Rear tires and rims are just junk. Um, overall, it's just pretty junk. So I ain't even gonna even gonna mess with dealing with it um, to sell it complete. I'm just gonna part it out. But the only reason I, well, the main reason I'm gonna part it out is because I have D17 Diesel Series One. Um, that needs either rings or head work. Um, I just went through the injection pump and the injectors thinking that was the problem, but it still slobbers oil out the exhaust and uh, smokes real bad. So this motor just been rebuilt, but the pump and injectors weren't gone through. So it idles great, but when you throttle it up, it don't sound good. So I'm yanking the motor out of this one, pulling the pump and injectors off of this one putting my pump and injectors on this motor and putting it in my tractor um, and then selling off the motor that's in my tractor either complete or in parts but uh yeah so that's the case on this one um so i'm gonna video turn it apart and then uh yeah putting the motor in my other one i gotta go over to my grandpa's and get my other one but for today i'm gonna pull it up to the barn and start taking off sheet metal and all that stuff because I've already sold a bunch of parts off of it. And then uh, another day when I uh, get to it, go get my other tractor, get the motor pulled and put this motor in there. Um, but yeah, so I'll throw you guys on tripod, get it pulled to the barn and then uh, get turned apart. I was timing on a pump but I, I check out uh, and it's in time so um yeah I'm gonna pull the pump injectors off her after I time the pump and uh then well before all that tear it all apart like I already said and then when I'm about to pull the motor out I'm gonna uh time the pump and get it off her and uh yeah, get swapped in my other tractor. So I'll throw you guys on time lapse mode and uh, get tearing it apart. Uh, 
that didn't take too long to get the parts off. Um, I just took the parts off that uh, I could have um, still be able to move it around. Um, so I got the grill, the hood, center hood panel, draw bar, seat, fenders, um, and the platform stuff like that off. Um, just I just didn't want to take everything apart just in case I need to move it. Um, I mean, I can move with a skid loader. It's just a lot easier though if it starts up and drives. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, um, as long as the battery still has enough juice to start it, that's the only reason it started hard earlier is because the battery doesn't have much juice left. So if it has enough juice to start it, I'm gonna move it and then uh, wait another day to uh, finish off uh, finished working on it get the motor pulled i um, probably won't pull the motor until i get the other tractor here so there guys back on tripod and we'll
Alrighty, so as you guys saw in the last few clips, um, I got my other D17 home. So now it's time to pull both motors and get them swapped out. Right here, I got the motor. I'm gonna be taken out. Um, still got time to pump, pull it off, pull the injectors out. This one, and then mine, I still need time to pump, pull it off, um, and still tear it apart to uh in order to get the motor out and then slap that one in so i'll throw you guys on time lapse mode start tearing apart this one um and then come over this one over here and show y'all how to time an injection pump and then get it pulled off there and then i haven't debated decided whether i want to paint the motor before i put it in or not um, I guess I'll have to see what I want to do once I get closer, but I'll throw you guys on a tripod and I get to tearing this one apart. Alrighty guys, I'm to the point where I need to time the injection pump. Um, so how you time it is, there's one little line there on this right side here. Um, there should be another little line on this left side here. So you bump the starter until they line up. And uh, yeah, and that's how you time your injection pump. So bump it a couple times here. I guess on this pump it's just this little indention right there so i'd say i got it in time and now i take it off and pull the injectors off and then i can slap the other pump on there once i get it in time but i ain't gonna take it off until i get it pulled just so i can turn the flywheel and uh, line it up easier that way but this one i can bump it with a starter so i'll just line up on here but yeah it's ready to come off so i'll throw you guys back in time lapse mode didn't video it but i got the motor pulled off of this one and scooted this one back and got the motor ready to pull um, i just got to unbolt this ram rail on this side because this side's already off get the front end out of there and then go get the skid loader and lift it up and then um the motor i'm gonna be putting in it i already got it Paint it up and raring to go. Um, it's not the right orange, but I like this color orange, so that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna use. And uh, yeah, so once I get this motor pulled here, you pull the pump off, and then uh, throw it on that motor there. But for now, I'm gonna throw you guys on tripod and uh, get this motor pulled.
just like that. I got it swapped out. It wasn't too hard. The front end was pretty tricky. Um, just because you have to line up this coupler here with the steering shaft and then line up these two studs at the same time. So, but I got it all on there. Um, but now I got to go down near Louisville and pick up a load of tractors that I bought last night. And then uh, when I get back, I'll get back on this project. But yeah, I'm just glad it went as smooth as it did. Um, I just had to split a 70-40 couple of weeks ago um and uh, it it was a pain in the butt to get back together and i have no clue why i was working on concrete even but this one went together pretty smooth so hopefully in the next couple of days here um i'll have it running and maybe bailing some hay or something but for now i'm gonna go get my load of tractors and then uh get back on this later So I ain't been videoing much. Um, I've been videoing a little bit, but uh, just trying to get this video out to you guys. So I'm trying to get this thing wrapped up. But if you come over here, got it pretty much everything um, bolted up. I had to change the oil filter canister deal because I'd rather buy a spin on filter than not to worry about that. Um, got the injection pump on there and all the injectors in, the lines on. Um, I do got a coolant leak. Um, so far, I don't know what else is going to leak once it gets going. Um, these generator wires are loose still, just hanging there, but, um, I got coolant and oil in it, and all the power steering lines hooked up, uh, fan belts are tight, a few more things to put on, but, uh, I'm not going to worry about that until I get it, um, top notch running and everything. And uh, that water pump leak fixed. I uh, might have to order a new water pump. I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, and I got the front end and all that um, tightened in. So it's back on four wheels now. But uh, I'll throw you guys on the tripod now and uh, try to start for you.
like an hour long. Um, if I keep filming, it's gonna be like five hours long. Um, but I tuned the pump a little bit more. I went, Before I took it off, I timed it right. Um, so I, it should have ran smooth, but I'm uh, loosened up the nuts on the pump and turned the pump and got it to run a little bit better. Um, but it still doesn't act like it's still in the right timing. Um, and then the water pump is junk. The leaking real bad, so I gotta get a new water pump. So, you're gonna be seeing another video on this tractor, but I'm just glad it runs and moves so I can bring home a, another tractor to get started on, and you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned for that. So, if you aren't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button um, so you're notified when I get that tractor and uh, start working on it. So, I guess you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to hit that like button and uh thanks for watching